All right, March 4th, 1789, the Bill of Rights and the U.S. Constitution became the law of the land. So let's take a closer look at the bill or the article that's given everybody so many headaches today. Article 2, a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Okay, now I've, I've had a problem with the word infringed for a while. I mean, I always thought that was the tassels on a uh, disco jacket. So, if somebody comes to my house and says, give me your guns, I'm going to say, what I'm going to say is, first I'm going to say no. That's the first thing I say. And the second thing, and I memorized the Article 2 of the Bill of Rights, I'm going to say the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be transferred. And if they don't understand that, I'm going to say the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be taken away. Also, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be removed. And to update the word infringe, I'm going to tell them the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be deleted. Not today, not tomorrow, not next week, not next year, and not in the next four years. So that's going to be my answer if somebody wants to come and get my guns. I'm going to say no. I'm just going to say no. And another reason, if we happen to get in a discussion and uh, nothing else happens, I'm going to get out my Constitution. I, hap I happen to have a uh, Declaration of Independence, uh, July 4th, 1776. And let's look at a couple of words in this most important document, just about the most important document in the history of our country. And I can't really get a real close-up, so I'm going to read a couple of words. Right here it says that all men are created equal. That means all of us are created equal. And they, that they are endowed by their creator. Now the word creator is a really big problem for liberals. They don't believe in the creator. But a lot of us do. That they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights that's the word right there unalienable rights and the word rights refers to the Bill of Rights of course it does and the Bill of Rights are unalienable and if you don't want understand what that means unalienable means they can't be taken away not now not next week the right of the people to keep and bear arms is unalienable alienable and cannot be removed transferred taken away deleted not today not next week and not in the next four years and one last thing to think about if you think about the Constitution and read the Constitution and we all should be reading the Constitution to get a better understanding of it even if even if the authorities come and take away your guns and they'll try. They, they will really try, and some people will give them up. But even if they take away your guns, they can never take the right away. You might not have guns, but you still have the right. That is not, it is impossible to take away someone's right. Like I said, think about this. If they take away your guns, you still have the right. So get yourself a piece of the, get yourself a copy of the Constitution to read it once in a while. Think about it. Practice those words. And the words to practice are just say no. They come to get your guns. Just say no. Knuckle bump.